the Joe Rogan experience. When you watch the video of that guy being led around uh, through the Capitol building by police, they're basically giving him like a tour. They're talking to him and hanging out with him. At one point in time, it's him and there's like six police officers around him and they're not arresting him. They're not throwing him to the ground. There's no violence at all. They were leading him around. Like they were, hang the cops were talking to him and hanging out with him. It wasn't, they weren't like arresting him immediately. It wasn't like he was this violent guy who broke in and started smashing things and fucked the they, government. They stayed between the velvet ropes. These, watch the video. Yeah. So, have you seen the video? No, I have not seen the See, video. Jacob Chansley became the face of January 6th, a dangerous conspiracy theorist dressed in outlandish costume who led the violent insurrection to overthrow American democracy. For these crimes, Chansley was sentenced to nearly four years in prison far more time than many violent criminals now receive. What did Jacob Chansley do to receive this punishment? To this day, there is dispute over how Chansley got into the Capitol building. But according to our review of the internal surveillance video, it is very clear what happened once he got inside. Virtually every moment of his time inside the Capitol was caught on tape. The tapes show that Capitol Police never stopped Jacob Chansley. They helped him. They acted as his tour guides. Here's video of Chansley in the Senate chamber. Capitol Police officers take him to multiple entrances and even try to open locked doors for him. We counted at least nine officers who were within touching distance of unarmed Jacob Chansley. Not one of them even tried to slow him down. Chansley understood that Capitol Police were his allies. Video shows him giving thanks for them in a prayer on the floor of the Senate. Watch. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for paying the inspiration needed to these police officers to allow us in this building. Contrast the reality of what Jacob Chansley did in the Capitol building on January 6th, the indisputable facts recorded on video, some of which has never before been seen, with the depiction of Jacob Chansley that you've seen in the media for more than two years. He's a terrorist, they said. He should be killed. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. It makes you wonder, who are the violent extremists here? Not Jacob Chansley. And the video proves that. But you would never have known from the media coverage. Tucker Carlson highlighted it on his television show, and now everybody's up in arms because it's coming from Tucker. But it should be coming from the New York Times, too. It should be coming right. from everybody. It's just, This is video footage of this guy, and it's a thing that's different than what we're being told it is. We're being told that they barged in and fucking rah, and they overtook the Capitol, locked them up, put them in jail. You see the video itself. It's you do bad. see these cops walking around with this guy, and they're they're essentially it's like they're giving him a tour. I thought it was like they broke in, and then they fucking scared the cops away, and there was so many of them that they overtook the Capitol. These are the pictures you've seen of January 6th. They're familiar because they've been playing on a loop on every media outlet in America for the last two years. There's a reason for that. But it turns out there's quite a bit of video you haven't seen. And that video tells a very different story about what happened on January 6th. More than 40,000 hours of surveillance footage from in and around the Capitol have been withheld from the public. And once you see the video, you'll understand why. Taken as a whole, the video record does not support the claim that January 6th was an insurrection. In fact, it demolishes that claim. And that's exactly why the Democratic Party and its allies in the media prevented you from seeing it. By controlling the images you were allowed to view from January 6th, they controlled how the public understood that day. They could lie about what happened, and you would never know the difference. Those lies had a purpose. They created a pretext for a federal crackdown on opponents of the Uniparty in Washington. Our office wanted to ensure that there was shock and awe that we could charge as many people as possible. The first thing you notice from viewing the full video record of January 6th is just how many people entered the Capitol building that day. Hundreds and hundreds of people, possibly thousands, over the course of about two hours. The crowd was enormous. A small percentage of them were hooligans. They committed vandalism. You've seen their pictures again and again. But the overwhelming majority weren't. They were peaceful. They were orderly and meek. These were not insurrectionists. They were sightseers. Footage from inside the Capitol overturns the story you've heard about January 6th. Protesters queue up in neat little lines. They give each other tours outside the speaker's office. They take cheerful selfies and they smile. 
They're not destroying the Capitol. They obviously revere the Capitol. They're there because they believe the election was stolen from them. They believe in the system. 